All right, everyone, Cody here. So I've been working on a little invention. And here it is. It's essentially a pot, a plant pot to grow plants in that I've made out of all these little pieces of pipe. And uh, I have a pretty good reason for doing that. First of all, I can get a whole bunch of trees in a small space. And also, like, uh, you go around, look at the ground around here, and you can see these little elm trees growing. They come off of the seeds from this big tree here. And, uh, you know, the seeds get in the ground, it rains, they sprout, and then a few days later, the ground dries out and they die. So it's very difficult for us to get the trees started. In fact, most of these that we have around here, we had to, like, find the little baby tree and uh, give it water every now and then to get it to go. And once they're established, they, they're great trees and they, they take off like crazy. But uh, I want more of them. And so what I'm doing is I'm getting this... Uh, the roots of the tree down about eight inches. See, the ground dries out down to about six inches down, completely dry during the summer. And then below that, it kind of stays moist most of the year. So I figure if I get the tree's roots down there, then the tree might have a chance. Now, of course, I could plant the tree somewhere and then give it water and baby it along. But uh, doing 40 trees that way would uh, take quite a while. I'd rather have them all in one place so I can work on them and then go and plant these and don't have to really worry about them from then on. Uh, let me show you what I'm going to be doing to install these. Let's say I wanted a tree right here. I would take the individual pipe out of the package and assume there's a little tree in here and I'd take this uh, inch and a half diameter metal rod Go ahead and pound that into the ground a few times. I mean, I probably wouldn't have to pound it that deep. I kind of got carried away. Pound it in the ground a few times. And then take the little pipe. Stick it down into the hole. Get it down to the right depth. And I go ahead and take something. I'm thinking like a, another pipe, maybe a smaller diameter. Put around the tree. Put it around the tree and then push the dirt out. And then as I'm pushing the dirt out, I lift this pipe up leaving the tree in the hole. Then all I gotta do is water it in a little bit so that there's no air space around the roots and that tree would be done. And it'd have a much better chance of surviving than anything I've planted. Like those shallow pots, you put it in there and then the pot and the, pot and the, the soil that it goes dries out and the, the root ball there doesn't have a chance to send roots down by the time that happens, so you've gotta keep it watered. I wanna have that root go all the way down without that problem. So basically, I'm emulating growing the tree without a pot, but it's in a pot. So the tree, his root, is going to go straight down. It's going to form no root ball. And that is going to make it much easier on the tree and for me. Okay, so first off, the soil that I'm going to be putting into there. I'm going to have primarily compost, as you can see there. I want air to be able to get down because, you know, the plastic walls are not very permeable. So I'm going to have sand in there to help the air permeate. But uh, to keep the water from just running straight through, I'm going to add these uh, water crystals. See these here? They uh, store water. So it's, it's kind of like uh, having clay in your soil mix, but it uh, allows the water and air to go through. So that'll hold on to some water for me. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this stuff together and add it to that pot thing. Well, now I guess it's time for some seeds. And finish with a light coat of topsoil. And give it a little bit of water every now and then. Yeah, I think that's it. When these trees get, uh, I don't know, six inches high, or whenever the roots start poking out the bottom, we'll go ahead and plant them in their permanent homes. Go ahead and place your bets now on whether or not this thing's going to work. Unfortunately, I can't really like do a jump clip to when I'm planting them, because that's going to be months away. So I'll just have to do an update video at some point, so look forward to that. I'll see you next time.